Good day, my people. Oi Boni for you. I'm very happy to see you again. I know what you come for. I know for the recipes, of course. So today I'm going to show you another classic of Nigerian food, which is a red stew. That is tomato fried stew, which is lovely, good for every Sunday, and it's widely eaten in Nigeria by any tribe. It is not differentiated where from it comes. Everybody eats that, everybody loves that. You can put any meat, any fish inside, and you can eat it with your white rice and with other rices, mainly. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I hope you will enjoy. Hey! So the ingredients we are going to need for our Nigerian stew is going to be, of course, tomatoes. And I recommend the small and sweet tomatoes called cherry tomatoes or bloom tomatoes or strawberry tomatoes. There is plenty names for them, but they are all small and sweet. Then, of course, some onions. Some dried fish, which is optional, but I love it. Some oil. Vegetable oil, some stock cubes, some curry, some thyme, and some hot spicy dried pepper. A shaki and some beef. So when it's completely tender, I'll be separating the stock from the meats and adding the stock to the stew. And later on the very end, I'll be adding the meats. So let's get started. So what we are going to do first is to blend the tomatoes. If you want, you can be removing the small seeds inside this part. But that's not obligatory. And you can also be removing this little bits, which is more recommended. But if you have a good blender, you shouldn't even feel the difference if you don't do it. Pour it inside. This dry fish is not so hard like uh, stockfish, so it's, it needs only about 10 minutes and it will be done soaking. Then we'll debone it and we'll be adding it to the stew later on.
So when your onions are uh, already fried, you want to add the tomato a blend, which we made before. And I personally do it bit by bit, because the bit catches the temperature quicker before you add the next bit. If you pour it all once, it will take some time for it to catch the temperature and boil and fry again. it and cooking it for another maybe 20 minutes 30 minutes and then we'll be adding the seasoning so this stew has been frying for about 35 minutes right now and I will show you the effect you can see the oil is separated in the top that means it went well so we want to add the stock which is left from boiling our meats There's about one and a half tablespoon in there. Then thyme. You want to add a lot of thyme. The Nigerian Sunday stew without pepper. It wouldn't be then our stock cube Give it a stir again. And I want to give it about ten minutes maybe 15 minutes and it'll be good to go so as i was saying i gave the stew the last 15 minutes and you can see the effect
That was the Nigeria Red Stew. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. And if you're interested in getting a notification about my new videos uploaded in future, you can click that red subscribe button under the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!